I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Dear friends, once a young man was lost in a dense forest with no idea how to find his way back home. As he wandered aimlessly, he grew increasingly thirsty and hungry with no food or water to sustain him. Just when he thought all hope was lost, he stumbled upon a small stream. He also met there a stranger who offered him some fruits to quench his hunger. The stranger also told him how to navigate the way to get on to his destination. The fruits gave the young man the strength and sustenance he needed to continue his journey and eventually find his way back home. In John chapter 6, Jesus declares, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This powerful statement is not only a declaration of Jesus' identity, but also a promise to all who believe in him. Bread is a primary food that provides sustenance and nourishment for our physical bodies. In the same way, Jesus, as the bread of life, provides sustenance and nourishment for our spiritual lives. He is the source of all that we need to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. When we partake in the bread of life in a worthy manner and with full awareness, we are filled with a sense of purpose and direction. We are given the strength to face life's challenges and the wisdom to navigate its complexities. Through Jesus, we are given the gift of eternal life, a life that is abundant and full of happiness. The bread of life is a gift that is freely given to us by God. All we need to do is to go to Jesus and believe in him. Furthermore, it is not any bread that he gives us. Jesus tells us that we must not only come to him, but also eat his flesh and drink his blood. This may sound like a strange and even off-putting concept for many, but it is a symbol of the deep intimacy that we are called to have with Jesus. When we partake of his flesh and blood, we are not only nourished, but also united with him in a deep and profound way. Through Jesus, we are given the gift of eternal life, a life that is abundant and full of joy. As we come to Jesus and partake of the bread of life, we are given the strength and sustenance we need to continue our journey through life's challenges and difficulties, like the young man in the story. Just as the young man in the story was sustained by the fruits given by a stranger, so too are we sustained by Jesus, who offers us the bread of life and the promise of eternal salvation. Jesus is the bread of life, the source of all that we need to live a fulfilling and meaningful life. When we come to him with faith and trust, we are given the gift of eternal life, a life that is abundant and full of joy. When we come to Jesus and partake of the bread of life, we are filled with his love and grace. This bread gives us the sustenance we need to thrive spiritually even in the midst of difficult circumstances. As we allow Jesus to nourish us with his presence, we find that we are able to live with greater joy, peace, and purpose. As we journey through life's challenges and difficulties, let's come to Jesus, the bread of life, and be nourished by his words and his presence. Let's seek his healing touch 
both physically and spiritually and be made whole by his love and grace may god bless you all